to uh, break some unfortunate uh, news. As you can see on your screens, oh. we understand that Bishop Cornelius uh, Corir has died. That is the latest um, uh, with regard to that. Uh, Bishop Cornelius uh, has passed away. That's the information that we have right now. It is not, it's not yet clear uh, what led to his death, but unfortunately, um, this has happened. Remember that Bishop Cornelius really has been extremely vocal in the past uh, on matters to do with the national issues, even politics. You will remember that back in 2007, he played a very big role to really bring uh, communities and Kenyans together. And we understand that he has uh, passed on. And uh, just looking at some uh, information uh, really about him, he was, he was consecrated as bishop uh, back in June uh, 2nd, 1990. Uh, and he was born in 1950 in uh, Bomet District, Kericho Diocese, and he was ordained as a priest in November uh, 6th, 1982. You will remember, like I mentioned him, as somebody uh, who really was very vocal and uh, very involved in the politics, in the politics of this country. He was very vocal, um, you know, when it came to uh, 2007 uh, post-election violence. He really tried uh, to bring this country together, and we understand that he has lost his life, he has passed away. We will be getting information uh, to do with this uh, particular unfortunate, unfortunate uh, uh, death, but really, it is really a sad day for this country as, uh, as Bishop Corey really has been quite a character and a personality with matters to do with national issues here in the country. Uh, remember that having braved the darkest days yet in his Eldoret ministry, the 65-year-old prelate has been quick to move in tandem with technology and ever-changing desires of digital Catholics. He, he even sees uh, uh, going digital as one of the best ways of ending cattle rust. And that's just one of the things really that he will be remembered for. Uh, he Really, he is an admirer of uh, mass media. Hence, it's his decision in October 2013 to find uh, to found the Upendo FM radio station that broadcasts from his diocesan office um, in the North Rift. So, really, he has been extremely, extremely uh, vocal to do with matters uh, national, to do with anything that has been uh, political. Uh, quite a big blow to Kenya, and especially at this time when we're talking about courting peace and bringing people 